Patrick Mahomes has possibly had the quickest ascent to all-time great talks that we have seen out of any player in almost any sport, but somehow he could be coming into this season on the quest for a three-peat as maybe the most disrespected and possibly the most underrated player in the league amongst his peers, believe it or not. So you might be wondering what I'm talking about, but the NFL Top 100 list is where the top 100 players in the NFL get ranked by the players players themselves and obviously you can debate stuff in the higher numbers but when it really gets down to it when you're seeing who the top players in the NFL are usually there's a clear cut top few but this year the top four is what I'm going to be focusing on and that's because Patrick Mahomes he won back-to-back Super Bowls he is ranked as the fourth best player in the league and I think this is just criminally underrated and really just how could you possibly say that three players in the NFL are better than Patrick Patrick Mahomes, especially coming off the seasons that he is having. So who is in front of him, you might wonder. So with Patrick Mahomes at number four, that means Christian McCaffrey at number three, Lamar Jackson at number two, and Tyree Kill at number one. First of all, what is one thing that all three of these players above Patrick Mahomes have in common? All of them were eliminated by Patrick Mahomes in this year's postseason run. So let's talk about number three, Christian McCaffrey. Obviously, running backs is really hard to rank. Yes, he had an incredible season, but if you're a peer of Patrick Mahomes and Christian McCaffrey in the NFL, obviously, you're going to take the all-time great quarterback over the running back 11 times out of 10. And then if you go to number two, Lamar Jackson, he had an insane year this year. Yeah, I guess if you're going off just last year's regular season alone then Lamar Jackson could be worthy because of the numbers he put up he won his second MVP of his career but when it came when push came to shove in the playoffs and it was the AFC championship game in Baltimore with the Ravens as the favorites Patrick Mahomes came into Lamar's house and got the job done winning the AFC title and then the number one player in the entire NFL going into this next year is Tyree Kill and this is the one I find super fascinating with Patrick Mahomes because there were questions about Patrick Mahomes' receiving core and what success the Chiefs could have when Tyree Kill requested that trade and got traded to Miami. Well, in the two years since Tyree Kill has been gone, they have won the Super Bowl both years. And yes, there's been some controversy about is the receiver core around Patrick Mahomes good enough, but he has just proved time and time again that he could elevate any receiver core around him. And it's also worth mentioning that Travis Kelsey and Chris Jones made the top 10 as well. Travis Kelsey at the number nine player, Chris Jones at the number six player, but I just find it really crazy that the peers of Patrick Mahomes, you're a player in the NFL, you see a guy who has won three Super Bowls already, every single year he's in the AFC Championship, it doesn't matter the talent that he had for his receiving core, and then if you're talking about recency bias, he just won two straight Super Bowls, and the guy that you ranked number one was not on the team for either of them, so Patrick Mahomes is is clearly the number one player in the NFL if you ask any media to rank it but it just makes you wonder is this jealousy involved what makes these players actually not put Patrick Mahomes at number one in the league and it's not just like he's number two because someone else got number one but Patrick Mahomes was ranked as the fourth best player in the league that would make him by far the most underrated and disrespected player in the NFL